Hi everyone, today I am doing a red lips makeup tutorial inspired by the look Emma Watson wore to the Oscars this year. Starting with the makeup, first I am going to apply primer. This is the L'Oreal Paris Base Magic Primer. I am just going to dot it all over my face and then use my fingers to blend it out. A primer gives a smooth canvas for the foundation to go on. It also extends the wear time of your foundation and also controls oil. Once the primer is fully blended into my skin, I'm going to apply foundation. I'm using a mousse foundation here by Clarins and a foundation brush to apply it. This foundation has a really smooth texture and it gives about medium coverage with a very natural looking semi matte finish to the skin. The best thing about this foundation is that it smoothens out imperfections like lines and pores giving a very flawless look to the skin. Next I'm going to use a concealer for my under eye area and I'm using the Clinique Even Better Concealer in the shade Honeycomb. This is a really high coverage concealer and it's actually one of my favorite concealers because it just has a very pigmented formula and it gives absolutely wonderful coverage. I'm using the Colorbar eyeshadow blending brush to apply this. So I've done the concealer under both my eyes and you can see my face looks much more fresh and awake now which is absolutely essential if you're wearing a bright uh, or a bold lip color. I'm also using a tiny bit of concealer around my mouth to conceal the pigmentation in that area. So my base is done now and I'm going to set everything with powder. I'm using my Clinique loose powder here on a Real Techniques powder brush. Emma Watson had a very matte looking base so I'm going to skip highlighter here and go straight away to blush. I'm using a bright strawberry colored blush here by NYX. You can see the details of all the products used in this video in the description box below. I'm using the Real Techniques blush brush here. So this finishes my face makeup, I am now going to do my eye makeup. Emma's eyes looked quite nicely defined but still had a fresh look. So the first product that I am going to use here is a brightening eyeshadow. This is like a golden beige color and I am using a color bar eyeshadow trio for this look. I have used the lightest color from this trio and I am using a MAC 217 brush to apply this all over my lid. And then using a smaller pencil brush, I'm going to apply this eyeshadow along my lower lash line as well to add a bit of freshness and brightness to my eyes. I'm using the MAC 219 brush for this step. Next, I'm going to mix the copper and the brown color from the Color Bar Eyeshadow Trio and I'm going to apply this in my crease line just to add a bit of depth and definition. Just be mindful to keep the brown in the crease really soft because we just want a hint of definition. We don't want a very heavily smoked out eye. I've used the MAC 217 brush for this step as it gives a very nicely blended finish. I'm also going to use the darkest shade on my lower lash line but only on the outer one third just to add a bit of definition to the shape of my eye. To line my eyes I'm going to use the Maybelline black gel liner and I'm using a color bar angled brush to just apply a thin line along my upper lash line. I'm going to keep the wing really soft and really small just the way Emma Watson wore her liner. So my liner is done, I'm now going to fill my brows using the Shiseido Eyebrow Styling Compact in the shade Medium Brown. And for my lashes I'm going to use the False Lash Telescopic Mascara by L'Oreal Paris. 
There was lots of mascara in Emma Watson's look, but I don't think she wore false eyelashes, so I'm going to skip false lashes and just apply two coats of this mascara on my top and bottom lashes. Coming to the last part of the makeup, the star of this look, the red lips. First, I'm going to use a red lip liner. This is Red Alert by Lacme from the 9 to 5 range. I'm just going to use this to define and fill in my entire lip. And to warm this up and make it look a little more like Emma Watson's lip color, I'm going to use a red lipstick by Estee Lauder. This is Red Tango from the Pure Color range. And I'm using a small uh, lip brush to apply this all over my lips. I hope you liked watching this video and enjoyed my adaptation of Emma Watson's Oscars red lips makeup look. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.